Greetings Duelists and welcome to another video. Uh, if you saw yesterday's upload, you already know that I talked about the Mermel Atlantean theme and a lot of cool stuff that you can add into this art type or this like hybrid, uh, which was specifically the Ice Jades and the Ice Barrier cards. Uh, I felt like the last video, me explaining the engines and explaining the bridges that work uh, between them was a little bit too vague. Uh, obviously I showcased like one or two combos, but they were not like very, very like cohesive. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is show you like combos that are guaranteed uh, with the application of the two engines. Uh, and stuff that you should look out for and keep a note of whenever you're deck building. Uh, what you see here on the screen is a template. Uh, this is not a final build, build by any means. This deck has so many ways to be built right now. There are so many starters that you can play. There are so many extenders. There are so many other stuff that you can add here. Uh, like, uh, like, for example, Deep Sea Diva is not in here, and Deep Sea Diva is a card that we can add into this deck. Uh, the Prima Donna engine is another thing that we can add here. Uh, like, another card that uh, a few people have been talking about uh, when it comes to this team is like the Ice Barrier Statue, well, the Barrier Statue of the Torrent. Uh, this is another thing that we can add here. Uh, heck, uh, <laughs> like, I've even experimented with specific tier element support like stuff like these two cards specifically uh, and, but yeah that's another story for another time uh, so i want to showcase you two combos and then i want to showcase you like an intricacy that it involves like the ice jade cards because i feel like the ice jade cards are the ones that have been explained the least uh, but yeah, uh, let's begin. Uh, you're probably already familiar with uh, Neptovis combos if you're already watching this video. This is the new Snake Eye Ash. Like, if you think Snake Eye Ash was ridiculous uh, back when it was at uh, 3, uh, this card is just as ridiculous. Uh, uh, but but yeah, I, I'm just gonna like uh, show you like the combo, like the guaranteed combo that we're gonna be doing. So... Neptabase is going to send bodyguards, bodyguards are going to add us dragoons, uh, the bodyguards is going, well, Neptabase has dragoons, bodyguards is going to summon Abyss Pike, Abyss Pike is going to dump the dragoons, is going to search for a bridge shrine, and we're going to add Hex Hexa Spirit, and yes, this is the Ice Barrier combo that you saw last time, but we're going to do make it a little bit better than last time. Uh, we add Adrian with the Abyss Shrine effect, we're going to tribute to summon dragoons, we're going to make Bahamut Shark. I think this is the fourth summon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, like one, two, no, this is the third. Yeah, this is the fourth summon. Actually, this is the fifth summon because the Nectar is re uh, re re uh, resolving. Let's see, one, two, three. Actually, no, yeah, fourth summon. So you are you are insulated from Nibiru uh, with this sequence. Um, so now we're going to add the Mullen Glacia with Dragoons. The reason we're adding Mullen Glacia is because if we dump for Adrian, you have exactly five uh, waters in the graveyard. And sequencing is really, really important with, with this deck. Uh, so we're going to special the Mullen Glacia. Mullen Glacia is going to rip two cards. And you're probably thinking, oh, we're going to make Ice Mountain like we did last time, right? Um, no, we're not doing we're not doing Ice Mountain this time. Actually, we are. Never mind. We do actually make Ice Mountain. Uh, this could be also uh, the other Ice Jade. Um, uh, I think it's called like the Renager. Uh, we'll showcase you uh, an interaction with her later. But yeah, we're going to make Crow Anemone. Crow Anemone is going to bring back the Hexa. Hexa is going to dump the Mirror Mage. Mirror Mage is going to grab us Georgius. We're going to special Georgius. Georgius is going to special the Mirror Mage. And now we're going to grab these two. And we're going to make uh, the Royal Mermail. Uh, 
it, it, it needs a fish sea serpent or aqua monster this is a sea serpent so this is a legal play in case anybody asks uh, we're going to equip the base kill of Mitsushi so now you're insulated from spell effects and this is the end board uh, ideally you probably want the Neptabyss on the other side the reason we're putting it here specifically is to avoid uh, relinquish anima from taking mirror mage uh, so yeah like sequencing is very very important but the, the upside of putting the Neptabyss on the other side is that you are protecting totally awesome from being targeted so that is an important note uh, so however you want to sequence this like it's up to preference there is a world where you just make this protect these three and you just don't care about the Lancia getting targeted uh, but yeah this is this is a really really strong end board like you have the negate you have another negate this can summon Raiho from the deck which Raiho is technically a negate uh, if this falls off and we have we have the Abyss Shrine which will trigger the Neptabyss to re-equip the Abyss Scale and the Abyss Scale is not once returned to negate. Uh, graveyard effects are shut, up, shut down while you have an Ice Barrier monster so uh, Georgius is uh, helping you against like Fiendsmith combos and Jubel and stuff like that. So yeah this is really strong. So, now we're going to talk about what happens if we just open Hexa Spirit. Like, because obviously Neptabase is like the best card in the deck. Like, any combo that involves Neptabase is really strong. But what can we do with just Hexa Spirit? Uh, and this is what I like about this uh, engine. Uh, there are different ways where you can just do other one card combos that are strong uh this one is a little bit more susceptible to more hand traps however the end results are just very very powerful for a deck like this one uh if you are familiar with ice barriers and you've seen ice barrier like combos or ice barrier decks you're already you already know what co what this combo is but hexa spirit is going to dump that uh, we're not going to grab fish insane. We're going to put it back. We're going to add speaker of the ice barriers And I think I didn't talk about this card last time if you control an ice barrier monster you can special summon this card uh, So it's just a free extender uh, Defense position monsters your opponent controls cannot change their battle positions That is very relevant because of Lancia's effect because Lancia can change uh, Monsters to defense position uh, when they're special summoned so this makes it so you know you cannot just change them back um, the, the important part about this card and the reason we're playing it is because of the graveyard effect like you can banish it to summon a token but you need to control an ice barrier monster so we're going to summon a speaker we're going to make Marincess uh, we're going to use the Marincess effect and we're going to bring back Mirror Mage. This is basically Promethean Fire Princess but for Water Monsters. It has to be 1500 or lower. It has to be where it points to. So ignore the positioning of the Mirror Mage. It should be underneath uh, Coral Anemone. That is important. Um, and you are locked into Waters. But again, for a Link 2, that's super easy to make. Like, that's a fair restriction. Uh, so we're doing the Mirror Mage effect. We're going to summon three tokens. Mirror Mage is now level five because it gains the level from the amount of tokens. We're going to make Coral Dragon. We're going to do Speaker's Effect. We're going to summon us another token. And now we're going to grab all four and we're going to make uh, Croco Dragon Arketis. So Arketis uh, draws you cards for the amount of non-tuners. You use three tokens for this, so you're drawing three cards. However, the Coral Dragon got sent to the graveyard, uh, and this was Synchro Summoned, so you get to draw another card. So you're drawing four cards out of this, and this could be like anything, but in a deck where you play a lot of cards like these, just drawing four cards is already really powerful. Not only that, um, the Crocosaur itself can like discard cards to pop cards. 
Uh, so th this does trigger the Atlantean effects. Uh, so yeah, this is just showing you stuff that you can do if you just open ice barriers and nothing else. Uh, now let's talk about the Ice Jades. What is the purpose we ta uh, of the other Ice Jade monsters? Well, I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit. Um, let's pretend we make this end board. So, we have this end board of these monsters right here. We have the Hexa Spirit here. Uh, Grimmer Adri Adrian. That was the monster I was thinking about, that I was talking about last time. So, uh, for those, uh, you probably already know about this card. You've probably seen this card in Manadium. You've seen this in... Uh, in the Sword Soul as well, uh, but for those who don't know, uh, this card basically gives uh, destruction protection to all your monsters, and it is a quick effect in order to do that. Adding to that, if you do this effect in response to an opponent's card, uh, you can banish whatever card your opponent is activating. Uh, so this essentially becomes like a ghost ogre for those cards. Uh, the other effect is if your opponent banishes a card Well, this card is in the graveyard. Uh, you can special summon this card. Then this will come up a lot Especially with cards like SP Little Knight being very popular uh, Like you have decks and strategies that just banish their own cards uh, Like Ritual Beast is another uh, notable one uh, If you're playing against Jubel, the Gruesome Grave and the Yama are like two other examples like yeah this card will hit the board enough times and with the Neptabyss like you have basically targeting protection but you also have destruction protection so this is basically like a magic specter type protection to all these monsters imagine dealing with a toad and dealing with a Georgius that cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects that's a really big deal uh, now, what happens if they get destroyed by battle? Well, if you destroy one of these monsters by battle, this is where the Ice Jades comes in. All the Ice Jades have the same last effect, which is... If a face of water monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, well, this card's in your graveyard, you can banish this card, special summon one Ice Jade monster from your hand or graveyard, except to Nola. This can special summon the Grimmer Igerine. This can special summon the level 3 Igerine. This can summon back the Rain Igerine. Like, uh, this could summon like any of them. You can special summon back Acti and use Acti's effect to just discard. Uh, so, for example, if you have like uh, heavy infantry in your hand, you can this turns into a disruption. You can bring back to Nola and then like. Uh, Tenola can also like help you tutor cards. Uh, yeah. So we're doing this play. This play is going to summon the Adrian. The Adrian is going to add us one other card. We're going to add us the Cradle. And you know, this is good because this also serves as follow up. Uh, just be uh, noted that if you do Cradle's effect to add, you cannot add something that's already in Graveyard. So if you already have an a, a Rand Adrian, you cannot add a Rand Adrian. So that's very, very important. Um, but moving on, uh, if this gets attacked, uh, again, like this can come up, this can reborn any water monster from your graveyard. Like any any of them, it could bring back like the, the the ice barriers. It can bring back any of the monsters that were summoned from the extra deck. It can bring back. You cannot bring back totally awesome if you use it with Bahamo Shark. So that's very important to note. Uh, but yeah, but like for example, you can bring back the mirror mage, and mirror mage just turns on uh, Georgia's effect as well uh, back online. Like, this is a very, very sticky board. It's very, very hard to get rid of. Like, the fact that Adrian can come back upon, like, other disruptions. And one other card that we kind of want to talk about um, uh, is this one. The Ice Jade Manifestation. So, this card uh, is basically, basically it's an emergency teleport for, like, Ice Jade monsters. 
You can also foolish them. Um, but this is the important part. If a face-up Ice Jade monster you control leaves the field by your opponent's card, except being destroyed, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls, banish it. So this is another disruption. And like, at first it doesn't look like a big deal, but if you're piling up the disruption from this card with the Neptomis on board, with the Adrian protecting everyone, with the Toad Negate, with the uh, Mizushi in the graveyard, like we're, we're, we're threading into like Snake Eye territory here. Like this is a very, very disruptive end board that is just covering a lot of avenues from a lot of different places. Um, another thing to note is, um, let's see if we, if we can find it. So, let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, some, a very important ruling, I need to bring this up because I know it will come up someday. Uh, it, I think it already came up in the past, but uh, this card cannot protect you from evilly mashed because even though your opponent is controlling the evilly mashed, you are the banishing the monsters, not your opponent. Uh, so that's a very very important uh, thing I have to mention here. Uh, that being said, this does protect you from a lot of other different stuff. Like SP Little Knight doesn't work against you anymore. Uh, like if you summon this card, um, like other weird banishing effects, like from like other cards. I try to think of others, like uh, uh, like from the top of my head, but. Yeah, the fact that your cards cannot get banished uh, as well. Oh, I guess there's one important note I have to mention about this card. If you're under Dimension Shifter, I mean, weird that everything resolved before the Shifter activated, but, you know, that's a ruling I have to mention. If you are under Dimension Shifter and this card resolves its effect, your opponent cannot get rid of your cards with whatever form of removal they have, because it involves banishing. So that is another ruling I have to mention. But yeah, uh, I think that's all I kind of wanted to cover today. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about Merlantians because uh, I feel like this archetype or this deck or this hybrid does have a promising future. Um, I think that it's only a matter of time until somebody gets really creative with this deck. The fact that this deck can play Dominus Impulse and can play like Imperm and have room for the engine is already really strong. Again, ignore this deck list. You don't have to play 52 cards. You don't have to play all the Ice G cards. You don't have to play all the Ice Barrier cards. This is just a help, a way to help you like with deck building. Uh, there is one channel that I'm going to uh, like be shouting out. I will post it in the description. You probably already know about her by now, but Chaya YGO is like a very, very dedicated water duelist. Uh, she has done a lot of videos involving this deck. Uh, there are probably other channels out there, but that she's like one of the more main ones. So feel free to check her out if you haven't. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. I hope you found this informative to your like and understanding. Uh, keep practicing and keep dueling.